Wow, 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 wow. That's so nice. <laughs> guys welcome to my youtube channel favor flavored live ffl on this channel we are all about good things good vibes and about christ so i say so kwanza before to endele j ume subscribe kama how to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and let's get this channel to a million subscribers Sawa sawa na kama ume subscribe asante sana may god bless you. So on today's video we're going to be doing a very interesting meal kama kawaida. So um we'll be doing beef mint stew and some cumin rice. So I'll take you through on how I cook it and you out there my viewers can share with me your opinions in the comment section as we enjoy together sawa sawa so let's get going uh, we have uh, green pepper onions tomatoes some garlic um our peas carrots coriander paprika and salt so, here is our meat. Tuweka nyama yetu kwanza kwa pan. Pan yenyewe haina anything, guys. Atujeka mafuta, sijeka kitu yote. So, this is just the meat. And uh, so, tunataka hii nyama iive, iive. Itoe maji yote before we get to nini to kukaranga. Because you have to build in the flavor and your meat flavor is good from so I'll put in some some salt salt kiasi ndio nyama ive pia ikiwa na kates isive ikiwa imenyamaza tu so and again guys remember Again, guys, remember this is my way. You can share your way uh, down there in the comment section, and let's learn together. Let's have a, a, a meeting down there in the comment section, and yeah, let's keep the conversation going on how you do yours. How do you do your business? You no, know? so, so, so as you can see already, it is uh, in, a, in another quiver. As you can see already, in Anza Kuiva, uh, Nona, Maji Metoka. This this take this process takes like just a few minutes. Very, very few minutes. It is uh, it takes very, very few minutes. So I'm just doing this na munda munda ivi because taki ivi kwa in huge huge chunks. Like na taka ivi kwa kidogo kidogo like in small. And it, it has dried up. So uh, from, we're going to put this aside and now start on on uh, kukaranga the the rest of the things. So we are here. Nimeweka mafuta, ready to start the process of kukaranga the stew. So that is our cooking oil. Uh, you will measure according to the size of uh, food you're you're making. Size ya nyama yako na size ya chakula ya wale watu unapikia. So hii yangu ni kama like 3 tablespoons of uh, cooking oil. So yes. 
so we are going to start by adding the our onions here are our onions i will add the onions and I will let this to cook for a few minutes until it becomes golden brown until it becomes golden brown so here is our garlic we may make a garlic yetu So just before the kitchen is garlic. Hey, the kitchen is smelling nice. Super nice. So from there I will put my tomato paste. Uh, sorry, I didn't I forgot to tell you about the tomato paste. I'll put one tablespoon of tomato paste. So but you don't need to worry about if you don't have tomato paste it is it is absolutely optional guys sour it's the best rest your tomato paste so i'm going to let the tomato paste to cook kidogo and then you will be making nyanya zetu so we'll let the tomato paste to cook kidogo and then i put there the old the nini our tomatoes so, then the next process i will put the uh, nyanya this one tomatoes so, so here i'm going to put very little salt Kwanyama, we had two salt uh, Kwanyama and I had also boiled my minji and I put salt so we don't want to have too much salt so I have How does it look, guys? Looks yummy. I know, man. I am so. Next, we will put the the these ones. 
the minji, the peas, sour. That way. So guys, me what I say, cooking is a nut. There's no like a uh, right way or wrong way. <laughs> Though there is a way that is said to be wrong. The one where the wanjikus when I can maji. I myself ni wanjiku. Lakini manze sipendi mabofu sana. But deep down, kuna mahali. There's a special place for soup. And uh, due to that, I will put some miro. So that ancestors wangu wasi seme ni mewangusha. So, we put a little bit of water that way. And then, we give it a stir. Give it a stir. No, Naje, guys, how does it look? What's, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this yummy stew? What do you think? Is it something that you would um, try? Is it something that uh, you Yummy. How do you make your stew? I mean, guys, just share your thoughts down there. Yeah, again, for the sake of my ancestors. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, so this is it. It's still not a lot of soup. So, you see, the food is a lot. Yeah, so this is it. Bado, the food is a lot. See? And uh, you can serve this meal with rice you can serve it with chapati you can serve it with um with the with what with the spaghetti yes so we will leave this to cook for about five minutes roughly and uh, so meanwhile we get ready to make our rice remember we were doing beef stew means beef stew and some cumin rice so let's start uh preparing the for the rice. So, so. so um, the beef stew is coming along well. It looks so yummy. So at this point, it is literally ready. So this is where itaweka dania, dania yetu apando itakam. So coriander for those of you who like prefer the name coriander there's another name for coriander I've forgotten if you remember if you know that name for for coriander the other one please comment uh, down below and tell us what the other name for coriander is I have forgotten so Dania and Musho so how about to go and our stew is ready. What do you think, guys? It looks so yummy. Can't wait to enjoy this delicacy. So, guys, um, on to our rice. So, the ingredients for the rice are here. Here, I have salt, I have blueband, I have cumin seeds, and I have uh, the rice. And also, there's another uh, ingredient that I'll be using, which is ginger. Sawa, sawa. Oh, yeah, so that's it. So, we will start with uh, one tablespoon of uh, margarine. In my case, this is blue bun. Eat blue bun. Hey, we don't do a lot of bread in our house, so... It, uh, we I decided to be cooking with it some of the, of the meals that I like to feel the taste of blue bun. So I uh, put one tablespoon in there. Next we will be putting the the ginger. Ginger to be no food. And then after ginger put a bit of cumin seeds we will add some cumin seeds cumin 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 is 
mostly zinapanga kwa pilau zinazoona so this is cumin so you put about half a tablespoon of cumin at this point i have washed my rice my rice is washed so we shall eat our rice abundance So I find this to be a better way of uh, cook, cooking my rice just instead of uh, boiling it even to make your white so uh, I like to because it's gonna have some aroma, some nice aroma. That's how they cooking uh rice looks like mm -hmm. so i will now add water to the rice power i have cooked two cups of rice so i'm going to put four cups of water four cups of water and this is the third cup So this is how the rice looks like for now. So we will we will cover and let it cook just like normal rice. Also, guys, I have put some salt. So this is how we cut it. Salt to taste. Salt. 